Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going there, fella? Uh, fella? We're not going to address the Wait, fact that I that said that. Is that the Irish in you? Is this, are you just Irish hey, this week? Yeah, Taylor. Yeah, I don't know. Do you feel like you're more Irish or Italian? I don't feel we like anything. We know what your skin tone says, but I'm saying like your personality. I don't feel like anything, to be honest. Let's, this is a really good question now that I think about it. Welcome back to the basement yard. Hey, guys. Hey. Um, do you feel you're more Irish or Italian? Did you not hear the fucking three times that I just answered that question? Oh, my God. You're Jesus. coming off fucking hot. Do you find, like, do you... Frankie, do not ask me again. You're about to. I don't feel either. That's my, that's my answer. But if you were to associate yourself with one more than the other, what would it be? Because clearly you got the Irish temper. <laughs> clearly you got that. Yeah. You, you, but you, you do have the Italian sense of wonder. The Italian <laughs> sense of wonder? Uh, Where are you no. grabbing that uh, from? A Pinocchio, honestly. Geppetto? Yeah. Geppetto. Because he loved, well, Geppetto didn't do much traveling until he went to go find Pinocchio. Right. Pinocchio wanted to see the world be a real boy. Right. You want to see the world. Yeah. You always are telling me how into real boys you are. Okay. I. <laughs> well, into real boys. <laughs> no, I think, I would say if I were to, and it has nothing to do with your last name being traditionally... Italian. I would say you're more Italian than Irish. Okay. The foods that you like, the, like, everything about you. You just... But what is Irish food? Just, like, cabbage or something? Potatoes, carrots, cabbage. Carrots? And fucking... Yeah. So what are they? Rabbits? Cabbage? Well, carrots? The, the, um, to my lettuce. understanding, the, uh, you know, Emerald Isle was a relatively poor place that wasn't able to grow a lot, so they have... Traditionally, were the easiest and cheapest vegetables and stuff to grow, and it was you know just stuff like that. That's why for St. Patrick's Day we have corned beef, which is a cheap cut, cooked in the cheapest way possible, boiled. Are you shitting on my heritage right now? <laughs> well, oh, so so you're ta- you're you're accepting them? Well, when you're when you're, I'm not shitting on it. You're literally stepping on the heads. I'm not shitting of a on famine, it. Frank. I, I, People I, I, are famished. And you're stepping on their heads. I am not stepping on it. I'm just saying traditional uh, Irish food. Not only are they starving, but they're poor as well. Traditional, and it rains a lot. Joey. This is slow, what you're saying. Slow the fuck down. No, I'm not. I'm just saying traditional Irish food is known to just have in- traditional ingredients that are, are just not as... Say traditional again. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's true. It's all like, think about uh, shepherd's pie. Love shepherd's pie. I don't even know what's in that. What? You've never had a good shepherd? No. <laughs> You've never had a good shepherd? Oh, she- meat. Well, that is one of the ingredients in shepherd's pie. Gravy? I guess technically. Well, te- there has to be a pastry in the- there. No. No? There is no. There's but no- how is it a pie? Is it a- so it's it's like the shepherd part is a, it's lamb. It's ground lamb. Oh. Yeah. I got your attention now. I mean, I, yeah, I like lamb. Now, now I got your attention. I'm big on the lamb. And you saute it with like onions, uh, garlic. Nice carrots and you make like you put like red wine in there you Whoa. Cook, cook it down you put some Worcestershire sauce right uh and then you put that in a baking dish and then yeah. you cover the top with mashed potatoes oh what and then you bake it so it comes out like like a lasagna but the top is mashed potatoes oh there's no pastry there is no pastry in this fucking pie oh that's hardly a pie. Well, I think they just called it a pie because it's just like layers of stuff that you then eat. Yeah. He's got to have some like bread though. No. To be a pie? I don't think it needs What to other have. pie doesn't have bread? Um, chicken pot pie. Are I guess, you insane? I guess, yeah, I guess you're right. But like uh, mud pie. Was that diarrhea? That's poop. Yeah, that's a big old fat poop. <laughs> Technically some bread. I probably. guess there might be some bread in there. But yeah. No, I, I know there's other types of pies. Um, pudding pie. It's got, the, it's got the hard casing. Does it? Yeah, like the like the. Oh, cracker. I don't know. I was making something up. Those British, they love to put the word pudding and pie in things and then just make food out of it. The British are big on pudding? Dude, they, they make like stupid puddings all the time. Where do you stand on pudding? Oh, I thought you were going to say the British. No, no, no. <laughs> not I, I know you stand on the British. <laughs> <Not> very high. <laughs> <laughs> what, where do you stand on pudding? I'm a, I am like pudding. You like pudding? But like, if you give me a vanilla snack pack, I'll fucking shove it up my butt. That's right. how much I love it. Well, yeah. Uh, that's not. I don't know why that's the <laughs> threshold for my... I like pudding. I don't mind pudding. Except I think it's got a stupid name. Blood pudding. Wouldn't do that. 
What is blood pudding? Never heard of blood pudding. Is it blood? It's like I think it's like congealed pig's blood. They're, Who's they're, eating that? They're those Irish back at you. Uh, oh, I had some blood yeah. recently. I went out for New Year's. I went to an Irish restaurant. I was like, what are they going to serve Oh, yeah. Here? You told me about this. And they had like a blood. They had something blood. I'll tell you what. Good blood. It was good blood. Yeah, dude. I, I get it. Know. Vampires, I understand, dude. One of, uh, JT from the Picky Boys. He was like, yeah, it was like a traditional thing. Because he's, as you can't tell, very Irish. Yeah. He, I think he said that he would have it regularly growing up. Maybe I'm mixing up him and somebody else from that, you know. Doesn't he look like Charlie Conway a little bit? Um, I'm not quite sure who Charlie Conway is, so I'm just going to say yes. You don't know who Charlie Conway is. I can't quite think of who Charlie Conway is, Joey. Frankie, he's the captain of the Mighty Ducks. Oh, oh, you're. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were going fucking traditional. Like, there's movie. one Charlie Conway in the whole universe. Joey, you watch F1. You're pulling names out of your ass all the time. Charlie Con. He's a famous. I, I okay. I messed up. Forgive me. The yes. Triple Deke. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, yes he does. Yes. That's what you wanted. Yes, but forgive me for fucking. You're coming out and you're just being like, oh my god, Triple Three Two Eight Four has the fucking new album coming out and it's fire. You come up with these. First names. of all, two things. One, what? <laughs> two. You're the one who pulls names. You're like, oh, uh, Roger Pedactor. <laughs> Roger Pedactor. Who the fuck is that? It's a name from uh, Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. He's just fucking... That's why Roger Pedactor's dead. No, but you just say names of actors like everyone knows them. Or, and you do little references that fucking no one understands. Well, that's, uh, no, that's not true. A lot of people enjoy... Four? Four people. A lot of people... But I get at least one tweet a week. Whoa, dude! <laughs> Of people like I caught that reference. People on my on the last weekly episode got the you know the the, the Michael Scarn reference. Yeah, but you don't you don't tend to get these things, and that's okay. That's all right. Not everyone is as fucking advanced intellectuality. <laughs> I fucked up there, but that's because my brain works too fast. That's what for it my is. mouth. That's what it is. My Honestly, brain. you're so smart. That you can't speak or my, read. My brain works so fucking fast. That's what it is. My mouth can't catch up. And you're a high value man. I, I absolutely think you're I'm a high, a high value. High value man. I am a high value man. Why are you saying it as if I'm not? No, I think that you're a high value alpha man. I didn't put alpha there. Why is that a negative thing? I now? would say that it's not a very nice thing to be called now. An alpha? Yeah. No, I think that's fine. I think I'm a man of the people. This is the people, Joey. I don't You're know if you know this. This is me hugging the people. Well, first get consent before you hug all of, of the course. people. Of that, course. That was... Did you not see my eyes look down and I asked them for... Look down at what? And they gave me verbal consent. I, when I went for the hug, I went... And they went... And I went. Okay. And I did. Mm-hmm. But how, how are you? Good. You doing all right? Yeah. Good. Do it. I know what you wanted to fucking start with. Do it, you piece of shit. I'm upset about this. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Oh, yeah. There you go, you stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> you look... Those are stupid. Nah. Uh, no. They are. You look like Pac-Man's fucking bisexual neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> bisexual neighbor. Nah. Are, are they at least comfortable? Yeah, they're comfy. Here's the thing that really upsets me. Yeah. Money was spent on those. Yeah. You, whose money? That's a great question. Yeah, was it yours? Well, I think Greg spent my money on it. Oh, so we're <laughs> just allowed to spend your money on things? Well, you don't have the information. Uh, I Can I have it, please? No. Why not? Because you would buy swords with it. Because you're a child. There would be a sword in this room instead of just a fucking... Yeah, white... but it wouldn't be an actual cool sword. It would be whoa, a, whoa, whoa, whoa. A, a sword that lights up and makes sounds like He-Man. Since when is that not cool, Joey? Since 1998. <laughs> that's when. <laughs> I don't think that's true. It could be a sword from the original calling and casting and filming of the Knights of Tirnanaga, a forgotten show on Fox Kids. And I'm the one with fucking... <laughs> with the references that no one understands. The kids of Tunanaga? <laughs> what is it called? There was a show. Remember, remember the era of Fox Kids? Were you getting up at fucking 8 a.m. on Saturday morning to watch the shit? Because your boy was. I was at the park. Here's what I did. Certain mornings, I'd wake up at like 7, I'd pull out the DVD of 8 Mile and on mute watch the sex scene of Brittany Murphy and Eminem. <laughs> that was a good scene. It was a great scene. It was. I was... Move forward. 
bricked up for that scene. Obviously. Let me tell you. Also, just a good movie. Good movie. I, I should have watched. The, I, I have since seen the rest of it. But that scene in particular. So you'd, you'd wake up at 7. You'd beat your little ween. I wouldn't touch anything. I would just watch. Why? Because my body wasn't there yet. Oh, it was that yeah. young. Yeah, it was that young. I think that movie came out in like 2003, Joey. 11. Dude, sixth grade. I was probably slapping it around a little bit. Like rubbing it up against stuff, you know? Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, Wait, when did you start jerking off? <laughs> Dude, sixth grade, you're definitely I, jerking I, off. I, sixth grade was probably around the time I experimented. Seventh, eighth grade was like, I was like, this is the greatest. How I can spend my time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and then like 8 a.m. was like the fucking brand new episodes of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. Then there was Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon Yu -Gi -Oh. and fucking... And then there was a show, a short-lived show on Fox Kids called The Knights of Tirnanog. And I loved it real fucking hard. And I was the Red Knight. Golden Knight? You were the Red Knight? For Halloween one oh. year. And uh, it, it, you know, it literally only lasted, I think, like 12 episodes. And then Beetleborgs was coming on. Beetleborgs was good. Was that the girl who would crack her knuckles and then like... Yes. Beetleborgs, yeah. it was the, the three kids. Yeah. And the one girl would just be like... Yeah, and just fucking like lift a couch, which by the way, not that hard to lift a couch. Yeah, it's a couch. I mean, she was a child, right? You couldn't lift couches when you were a child. No. Yeah, but that's how I spent my Fox Kids mornings, baby. Fox Kids mornings. No, I don't, we would watch like, you know, I used to watch a lot of Maury. Why? And like Jerry Springer. R.I.P. Damn, guy left. Yeah. Just dipped on us. Yeah, he just left without saying goodbye. Do you know that he was like in a running for governor before he got his show? Yeah. And he got in trouble. Because of the show? Well, no, because he, I think he got... I, I don't want to... Yeah. I don't want to speak ill about yeah, the dead here. Oh, you're I'm, gonna not gonna, gonna, I'm not going to look it up. I'm not going to look it up. I'm not absolutely right, cool. not. But I think he got in a little bit of trouble. I remember there being specific episodes of Maury that I'm going to admit were my favorite. You have favorites. Yeah, it was my favorite episode of Maury because they, they would do like, is this a guy or a girl? Problematic. A little bit. No, a lot of bit. But so I didn't you, know that. So your favorite episodes of Maury are the exploitation of people in the trans community? Not now. I'm saying back then. Back then when you were afraid of people in the trans community. I wasn't afraid of anything. Yeah. That's not true. I was afraid of everything. <laughs> but I wasn't afraid of trans people because I didn't know what anything was. Yeah, because but I they was were... like, oh, this is a fun game. We don't know if this is a guy or a girl. Swear to God. And how many times did you win? The the audience was always wrong. Were you always right or wrong? Wrong. Really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. I wasn't a big Maury. I remember when I would come home from school, my, my grandmother, uh, also RIP. Also dead, yes. Um, she'd be watching a lot of like Judge Judy. I liked her. I, like Judge Joe Brown. Judge Joe Brown. That, is he still going, I think? Is he? I think so. What, Bro, does, what does Ricky Lake do? I don't know if she's still on the air. No, she's not. I don't think she's still on the air. But there was all those shows. Yeah. Ricky Lake. Oprah. Oprah was doing the damn thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, she's she's people are a little upset at Oprah. Why? Uh, she supported some people that maybe she shouldn't have supported. I don't know. But I did see a clip recently of Oprah saying that she went to the bank because she hadn't gone since like 1988. And she was like, yeah, I just deposited like a million dollar check. Hmm. She was on Ellen saying this. And then at the end of the th segment, she was like, by the way, it was two million. Like, damn, Oprah, bitch, we know you're a billionaire, chill. Yeah, so woman's, this woman's got, she's caked up money-wise. Yeah, well, she's got a big old fat stuff, too. I Does think. she? Oprah? You're speaking of, like, the mom of the people, Joey. Dude, you I, need to be careful. You want to know what's weird? No. You're going to tell me. Your mom kind of reminds me of Oprah. I, that, you're not the first person to say that. Oh, okay. You're absolutely not the first person Your to say that. Your mom used to remind me of Oprah hard. Really? Yeah. Like, what I'd be like, to... Oprah, Nancy. Yeah. I, I can tell you this. I never got a car from my mom. No, no, no not I, at all. I never, I never, my mom never said, hey, look under your seat. Right, yeah. She never did that. If she did, it was to find like an old French fry or something. Right. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> you want to know what's funny as I bring that up? And we're going way off because we have stuff to talk about. doesn't matter. We're, we're not getting to that. Um, I brought up on the Patreon episode that we did. Patreon. I don't know. And I said, I remember, remember that brown van, like our family van yeah. that we had? I vividly remember never wearing a fucking seatbelt. And, like, during long drives, my brothers and I would be, like, under the seats. Yeah. Like, flipping between seats. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that, like, mandatory seatbelt laws have become a thing in our lifetime? 
Uh, no, it's not crazy. I think it's called progression. But I will say this. You are lucky that, that I, you even had seats because, you know, my dad's van didn't right. have seats. That's right. That's right. And we would just get in the back with a bunch of tools and he would make a right turn and a wrench would hit you right in the face. <laughs> so that's what my experience was. Well, let's was. be honest. You'd rather the wrench than your dad's fucking right hook. Well, that would also happen if you sat close enough to the front seat. Oh, really? He was good at swiping behind him. Really? Yeah, 100%. Those bear, those bear mitts. What are they yeah. called? Bear claws. Claws, that's right. Mm -hmm. They were just swiping. Or paws? Paws. Oh. That's the one I was looking for. Yeah. Just swiping back at you? Yeah, he's done that a bunch. The only time, because I've only been hit by my parents once, as far as I can remember and as far as they can remember. So there's a chance there was more. But the only time I got hit by my dad was in the car. He pulled a car. The, the classic, like, I will pull this car over and I will give it to you. No. Well, yeah, maybe. God damn, yeah. dude. What'd your dad do to you? <laughs> Fucking nuts. But yeah, he pulled the car over. And, and my he dad, gave it to you. He gave it, all right. And I did not want it. <laughs> what did he do? Did he get out of the car? He, he got out like, of the car. He got out. Got out, walked around. Nice. And fucking, you know, like I'm like scared for my life. Were you in the passenger seat? No, I was in the back seat. Oh, he opened up the side door. He opened up the side door. And he just fucking slapped you. And just you. fucking bent, like Wait. out of a movie, bent me over his knee and fucking. Wait, where was his knee? He was outside? He, he like, you know, like stepped into the car. Like oh, stepped into the van and put his and leg up. Did he order you? Bend over. No, no, I didn't oh, get he that. He grabbed you. He grabbed me, put me down. Did he expose your bare ass? I don't know. I don't remember, and I don't remember if the story included my bare ass. Got it. That's That seems intense. Well. At least leave a layer of clothes on. Well, I mean. Bro, if I smack a bare... If, I, if my hand makes contact with bare skin, I'm fucking breaking blood vessels. What? Give me your arm right now. Give me one fat smack. You want to slap me? Uh, what I'm saying is like it, it's gonna hurt. But if I hit you with a shirt on, because a part of it is like yeah, the of sting, yeah. the sting of like the hand and the skin making contact. Yeah. But shirt or pant or multiple layers. It's gonna absorb some... some of the blood. Exactly. So yeah, and then uh, my dad to this day he tells a story. He goes, "Last time I hit you, I don't like my kids seeing their dad be afraid." Seeing their dad be afraid. Seeing their dad and being afraid. My dad, oh, you know oh. this. Not very literate. Yeah, no. No. Well, oh, I, I can't say, I I can can. say that. I feel like I could say it. Can you? Yeah. Uh, all right, you can. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, give you a, I'll give you one pass. Wait, so that's kind of crazy. So your dad got out of the car. We were on the highway or are you like side I believe street? we were on the highway. I think we were going to the lake house. Oh, so he pulled over on the shoulder. Shoulder on the way to fun to ruin my trip. So he bent you over on the side of the highway oh, and yeah. slapped your behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never got t taken over a knee. I was always just hitting, like, just hit. Just, like, hitting the ear? Yeah, like, hitting the ear and the face. Damn, I don't think I ever got I don't think, I don't think my dad ever hit me in the butt. Well, Unless you, it was, like, a, with a belt. Damn, you got belts? All the time. God damn! Dude, my... Dude, you have no idea. Me and Keith used to fucking hold up our blanket like this. <laughs> well, solidarity is power in numbers, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Absolutely. At that point, we were sharing a twin. That's right. Yes. That is right. right to toe for some time. That's okay. That's fine. That builds character. It does build character. That's what I, I say this all the time. No I, silver spoon here, buddy. I was sharing a twin. Yeah, you wait until he got 25. That's when he got that goddamn silver spoon. It's not a silver spoon if I create the silver spoon. It's still a silver spoon. Feeding yourself with a silver spoon. No, that's not what that means. Uh, my, you might be wrong. Where's there. your spoon, bitch? Great question. Yeah. You, you own my spoon. I don't own anything. You have my spoon. I don't have your spoon. Um, Did so, you have a, do you have a favorite spoon? Yeah. Me too. I do. And growing up, I had a favorite spoon, and I fucking loved it, and now I don't know where it is. Well, we, it was blue. When we moved into our house, there was a spoon just in the sink. That's your favorite spoon? And we've kept it, and I love it now. It's my you favorite. You have like a, a weird, random spoon. Well, we've since cleaned it multiple times. Yeah, so. but still, it's like you a know. different spoon. Growing up, I loved spoons. Growing up, you love spoons. <laughs> you know, remember how like you'd get one in a cereal box and you'd be like, whoa, it's fucking... I did. It's Jar Jar Binks. Yes. And I'd fucking slurp it up. Yeah, well, and <laughs> I liked those spoons because they were like plastic and like soft kind of. Mm. And then they had like, you know, like Timon and Pumbaa at the end of it or whatever. Yeah, I wanted that. And then I would be like, yeah, oh God, damn. You know what I also loved? On those Fox Kids mornings, we had those like, Dollar store cereal bowls that had the straw built into it. Yes. Fuck yeah, dog. 
All about that. I'll slurp that bitch down. The milk. Got it. That doesn't make it sound better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will slurp milk. Um, I, you know what I like? My sister got me. Ooh, this is what I love, too, because I was a big cookies and milk girl when I grow, growing up. Yeah. And just real quick, I don't want to get into a huge argument, but Oreos or Chips Ahoy? Chips Ahoy. Thank you. Um, so you, she got me this. Oreos are too much. It's not, it's they're not good, much. but like, they're, like, it's too, too, too much. Yeah, well, when they make mega stuffs, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I don't want to get. Out. I don't want a fucking whole like sperm banks worth of cream in my mouth. <laughs> I just want. Sperm I just bank. want a cookie. Yeah, Jesus. But she got me this cup, and it came with this little contraption with a magnet. Oh. And you put the cookie in, and then you can lower it into. That's the, cool. That's really milk, cool. Fully submerge it. You have to. And then you bring it back up. Let me guess. You suck the milk out of it. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, you're. Big... You know, everyone sucks the milk out of it. No, I just bite it and eat it. Really? Yeah, you're sucking the milk out of it because you've talked about so many things yeah. that are porous in fucking texture. I like to. Yeah. That you're just sucking water or milk or something through. I do do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like honeycombs, sucking them. Sucking them. Yeah. There was something. Kicks, kicks. I'll suck kicks. That's you... very close to a bad. <laughs> it's the kicks There's... cereal. Yeah, Joey. Just guys. There's, there are people that make edits of this show on TikTok. That don't, 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 don't. Field day of that one. No, but I, yeah, but like having a, like a Chips Ahoy cookie and you got it in there. Like, and no, no, and no, like no. people, listen, I like chewy Chips Ahoy. Disgusting. But not, not good for dunking. Dunkability starts and stops at regular hard old Chips Ahoy. I need some crunch. The, the chewy Chips Ahoy, I just want to throw. I like them. I'll eat them. I swear to God I will. I'll I won't, eat them. You know what? You know what we can get rid of together? Chunky. Yeah, what the fuck Come is on. this, dude? And Chunky. also, listen, Pepperidge Farm making these cool giant ass cookies. Chill out on the fucking size of the chocolate chips. Yeah, you guys gotta chill. I don't want it to look like there's a fucking raccoon turd in my cookie. You know what I like? The elf. What's it called? The elf. Keebler. Keebler. Uh, Ke Keebler elves. Yeah. They make the the circles. That With the, the chocolate the and chocolate it's like drizzle. Dipped, it's like dipped in the, the chocolate. The, dri the bottom is chocolate and the top is drizzle. Yeah, I like those. I put my tongue through the center of those. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. There it is. But you, you got to do that too. Oh, if of I course. have anything that has a hole in it, my tongue's going through it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm not really. But this is all true. The, I, at least you're being true to the man that you are. That's what I'm saying. I just got to be honest. I, I, I'm a big, like, one of my favorite cookies. Yeah. Oh, I love this cookie. Talk. I love we're cookie. It's cookie. Welcome back to the cookie talk yard. Yeah. <laughs> Vienna fingers. Oh no, nah, you fucked it up. What? They're, they're like okay. No, they're very good. We used to have a lot of them. I do like the tray. I like when cookies yeah, come in I trays. Like, I like when cookies come in like their own, like you know, like they're coming out of the army. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Like they, they march in order. It's like stormtroopers. I want to see. Yeah. Well, that's close to where like Nazi Germany, but well, I, you know, right. no, it is it, 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 very close. Stormtroopers. That's what the, some of them are called. I'm talking. Okay. So I do like that though, when you could pull them all out in unison. Yes. And you could see that like they traveled well. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And then you could take one out, and it's like, oh, the rest of them now have space to chill. Do you do? Tell, I know I do this. Do you run your like run your fingers along all of them when they're in their tray, like a deck of cards? Damn right, baby. Dude. I need to just make sure they're all there. Well, that's the thing. When they're brand new, they're all like kind of like stuck. And then you take one out, and then everyone's got a little room to to play around. Well, you let them and then just you can hang go out. like this. And move them all. Oh, you like fucking like play like mahjong with them and shit like that. I don't play mahjong. Oh, I don't know. I don't, by the way, I don't know how to play that game. I, I've seen it. I, it's pretty simple. I really like the marbles in it though. That's not mahjong. That's uh, Chinese checkers. No, 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 no. It's mahjong. No, isn't that the little like flat like? It's like there's like cups that you put the thing in. No. What the fuck is that? I believe mahjong is the one that has like little like dominoes with like characters on them. Dude. I think I'm I think right. I think you're you're wrong. Mm, Mahjong. That's, that should be the title of this fucking whole show. I Holy think you're shit. wrong. Holy shit. I fucking... Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I spelled that correctly on the first try. Mm -hmm. Wait, is, is this the, the right thing? There's a secret H in there. Oh, shit. You're right. I know. What am I thinking of? I don't know. I think you're Someone's thinking of Chinese... At the TV I right think now. you're thinking of Chinese checkers, where it's like a big star and it's marbles. No, no, no. That looked... That was sick, though. It, it was. It reminded me of something. The Star of David. Wrong. No, it does look no, like, like a No, like a cartoon something, like maybe Yu-Gi-Oh! or some Pokemon well, shit. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh! was pretty rad. What's the game where, like, there's, like, these marbles, and there's, like, 
uh, these like cups, and you have to like put some of the marble. It's not like it's weird. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I'm quite honestly baffled. Marble game with cups. What? <laughs> this is it. Mancala, bro. Mancala, close to mahjong. Yeah, very close. Mancala. I have no idea how to Mancala play that Mancala is a very like tasty sounding word. It is, but you see these, like the stones. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's that was like my those little. Shit. Those are the little like they're not. They're like half marbles. Yeah, they're like flat. Yes, I used to love those. Yeah, I want to like just go like this. Be honest, eat yeah. them. Well, yeah, I, I eat wanted them. to eat obviously. Them. I, I, I wanted, wanted to swallow them so bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they but, were very colorful. Listen, we had good ones. Here are my rankings of Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy candy blasts. Yes. Because they have the crunch on the chocolate. Yeah, I like that. Regular blue box. Yes. Red box. Nope. Red box and then everything else. Is there other? Yeah, there's like super soft and chewy and then there's like chunky. What are we, fucking 90 years old? No teeth? Apparently. Dude, the, the chewy, the red package of Chips Ahoy... Well, careful what you say, Joey, because what if they want to like have like basement yard branded cookies? Send me the blue box. Okay. <laughs> the red box, I will kick as far as I can. Okay. With my new shoes. No, God Almighty! Yeah. I knew he was gonna bring those back. Yeah. By the way, super tough on you and Greg by revealing your shoe size by ordering this box. What does that mean? Fucking, you don't want the. Now I know that you're a size eight, Joey. That's not good for you. Why are you lying to the people? I'm not now? lying to the people. Uh, you know I can show the inside of this boot. Go ahead and show the what inside. What size of the shoe boot. are you? Ten and a half. All right, I'm a ten. No, you're not, Joey. That's a size. You told me you put because those boots are size ten, and Frank, you put your foot in them and you said these are a bit big. I and I go, not be gaslit. And I go, how big are your shoes? And you go, eight. Having bigger shoes doesn't help your fucking cause, Joey. You can see my foot in here. That's kind of gross. That is kind of gross. The size isn't even. You up. really <laughs> like you really like those shoes, by the way. Yeah, beat the shit out of them. You wear them everywhere you go. I know. It's yeah, easy. but not a good thing telling me that you have a size eight foot. I have a size ten foot. Frank. No, you do not, Joey. Yes, I do. Sh- prove it right now. How? Exactly. So I'm right. You know what? Pull your foot out. I'll put my foot next to yours. Okay. Are we going to put it on the table? Uh, we're going to make a lot of people stay. <laughs> a lot? I might get... <laughs> Frankie's getting I'll get a, a tweet, guys. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I don't know. I'll do it. I'll pull my foot out. I'll pull my foot out, too. You All think right. I'm scared of your fucking foot? I don't think you're scared of my foot. Get my foot out of this. It's impossible. I'm going to keep my shoe on. Why? Because? No, you got to take your foot out. Oh, you know what? Take your foot out and put your fucking foot up there. Why? Because I just remembered. <laughs> look at this. This is a 30, 31 year old man who's got children. Frankie, put your foot up there right now. Put your fucking foot on the table. Show these people what I saw earlier today. I just remember this. Frankie, please put your fucking foot up here. Okay. Just show people what's going on. All right, give me a sec. <laughs> Don't you dare. He's trying to take it off. Don't you dare take it off. Put it on the table. Put it on the table. Look at this. <laughs> Put your foot on the table, you bastard. What <laughs> happened? Oh my god. Why are you wearing that? Listen, these are C9 Active Wear Target socks. Frank. What? They're duo dry, Joe. Frankie, this isn't a, a laser tag <laughs> birthday party. Why are you wearing that? I gotta go to Sky Zone right after this. <laughs> this <is laughs> give me, insane. give me ten. Put your foot on now, bitch. Oh shit! Show me your dirty ass fucking sock. <laughs> Lord knows you have them. Yeah, that tough, huh? I thought your fucking dainty feet will just pop right out. Should we do like Tarzan? <laughs> Two worlds, one family. Is that on camera? <laughs> I think, all right, just come here. <laughs> no, stop what I'm you're sorry, doing. I'm you see, I see exactly what you're doing, you dumb idiot. Why can't we get strict? No, you're, you're looking no at look at you. You're stay back. On, stay on the wood. Well, you got to go back that way. So look. Oh, look at me, you <laughs> idiot. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. One more time. I'm not a cheating bastard. You are. We are size eight foot. I don't have a size eight. Oh no! So now I found out mine's a size nine, a little bit bigger than yours. You still have a size eight. Wrong. That hurts you more than me. 
What does that say in there? It says 10. I said the boots are size 10 and you put them on. You said, these are a little big. And I said, how big? And you said like, I'm a size eight. That didn't happen. It did happen. And you're a bitch. I'm not a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. I know, what you want. I know what you want to do. Go ahead. We have the ads. <laughs> This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Uh, BetterHelp is online therapy. You want to talk to a therapist? You can do it through BetterHelp. In just under 48 hours, they'll connect you with the therapist as well. And they have licensed therapists all over the country uh, that can help you out with whatever you're going through. Um, and not only that, it is affordable, way more affordable than in-person therapy, which can be a ton of money, hundreds of dollars a session. Uh, with this, it is more affordable than that. And on top of that, you can save an extra 10% on your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash basement yard. That is betterhelp.com slash basement yard. You will save 10% off your first month. Uh, but go check it out. I've been in therapy for over two years, and it is amazing. And I suggest, I recommend it to everyone. Uh, but again, that's betterhelp.com slash basement yard. And uh, go save 10% off of your first month, okay? Uh, also, speaking of websites, uh, Squarespace, you can build your own website, whether you have an e-commerce business or if you create content and you need like a hub to host all these things or you want a page where you can give information to people or people can reach you, contact page, whatever it is, you can build out a website with Squarespace. They have beautiful templates that make it very easy to create a beautiful looking website, uh, very professional looking. You don't have to learn how to code or anything crazy like that. Uh, it is great. And uh, you can go to squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Uh, so yeah, and it's a free trial. So go on there, check it out. I'm telling you, it's very easy. You can make a really cool website uh, for pretty much anything. I've used Squarespace a lot in the past, and it is the best. So go to squarespace.com slash BASEMENT. The offer code is BASEMENT, and you will save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So get out there, create some cool websites and uh, you know, make it all look pretty professional and you'll uh, have a good time there, folks, all right? Uh, and I'm just gonna fit one more in here. We have FitBot. FitBot is gonna get you in shape. The summer is coming up. It's right around the corner. If you wanna get into shape, you wanna lose some weight, you wanna put on some muscle or whatever you want, uh, you can do that with FitBot. And uh, FitBot is great because they work around you and like they create a program for you and your goals. You know, it's much better than just going on the internet and trying to find a, a workout program that you don't know who it was written for. This one is gonna be you know, catered to you and your needs. Um, and you can get 25% off of a FitBod subscription right now. Uh, and it's super affordable. If you get a personal trainer, very expensive, okay? Uh, with this, you're saving 25% on your subscription and it's cheaper uh, than doing that. Um, but yeah, it is great. Like I said, they, uh, and if you don't, or you're not familiar with working out or you're new to working out, they have uh, over 1,400 demonstration videos. So when they put the workout in there, you'd be like, not sure what that is. You can look it up on these videos and they'll like kind of coach you through uh, how to do it. So very helpful. Uh, if you want to get in, uh, in shape today or whatever you want to do with your fitness, uh, get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbod.me slash basement. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement. Fitbod.me slash basement. Uh, basement. Fitbod .me slash basement. All right, folks, go check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you know what time of the episode it is. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. I tell you every week. I'll tell you every day. And I don't care because I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who loves Patreon? Well, Frankie loves Patreon. Is it true? Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Go to Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Sign up today to continue to support the show. Listen, folks, we're almost at 21,000 as of recording. You know how absolutely insane that is we are so grateful and appreciative for all the people that have helped us get here and for all the people that will continue to help our growth so go check out patreon.com slash the basement yard you sign up for that first tier will you get these weekly episodes one week in advance you get in on the conversation the clips everything that happens here one week before all non-patreon members and then that second tier well that's where you get those patreon exclusive episodes every single friday where uh things get a little crazier things get a little naughtier joey gets a little more naked i'm not going to confirm that last part but You'll have to find out at patreon.com slash the basement yard. We want to continue growing on those Patreon podcast rankings. We're going to do that with your help. So thank you. Last time, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Last time. G give me a compliment once in your life. I told you you're very flexible. That's not. 
Is that a compliment? Yeah, dude. You're flexible as hell. You can get your whole leg up there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I actually, I saw something the other day. It, it, it seems like it's an internet debate that I feel like you and I should weigh in on. Um, because who doesn't want to hear from us, right? Uh, <laughs> but the question was posed on Twitter. Yeah. Is it weird for straight men to have a cat? Why'd you say straight? You think the gays are more prone to cats? Because the question really was like, is, is it, it gay, gay to have a cat? Is but it... I don't think that's appropriate. No, it's not gay to have a cat. But like, all right, so then is it just... I think it's weird. Is it weird for a man, a single man, yeah, straight or whatever, whoever cares... I mean, I care about sexual identity because it adds to diversity, which t we are all different, but the same, and I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but is it weird... For a single men <laughs> yeah. to have a cat. I think so, yeah. Why? I don't know. I, because I'm biased. Like, I just don't oh, like Oh, because cats. you're a rad fucking golden doodle boy, huh? No, bitch. I will say this. It's since become a cats. joke. It's since become a joke, but you were on the golden doodle train before it became a joke. Dude, I know. And, like, that, did, it really didn't help me. It didn't. It absolutely Cause, did cause not then, help like, you. Because then, like, here's what happened, right? Before everyone had a podcast, I had a podcast. Before everyone had a golden doodle, I had a golden doodle. Before everyone was on YouTube? I was on YouTube. But then all of a sudden now I'm and it doesn't help. I just moved to Brooklyn. I'm a white straight. Well, you dude. moved to Brooklyn late. You know you did. No, I know. But I, I like I'm a white straight dude who has a podcast who and makes videos on the internet and has, has a golden, a golden doodle. doodle and a little higher socioeconomic status than most people. I'm just like not. I'm just like a walking red flag. I think I like hit all the boxes. Yeah, you have definitely you know become a walking caricature of. What everyone hates about America. I think so, yeah. I would say so. I don't really watch Joe Rogan just because I don't watch any podcast. Yeah, you podcasts. don't watch any podcast. So I, you know. Do you ever watch this one? Why would I watch this? I don't know. Just self-support. I don't need Self-support? I don't either. Just make sure I put that out there. But I don't think it's weird for straight men or white, excuse me, single men to have a cat. I, as someone that grew up with a cat, cats are mysterious. They're kind of self-sufficient. They're going to bring you little gifts to show their love. They're going to bring you little gifts. Are you talking about mice? Yeah, mice, yes. Mice are in there. Birds. Thanks for the mice. Birds, iguanas, maybe in some situations. Dude. I, what, I also, I don't buy this whole thing that cats are mysterious. What is mysterious about them? Look at them in their eyes. You look at a dog in the eyes and you see like playfulness, happiness, yeah. joy, and like a general sense of like warmth. Yeah, I look cats, at a cat and I think mean bitch. But it loves you. No, it doesn't. But it doesn't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like That's not mysterious. That's very mysterious. No, it's not. Because you look in the eyes and you don't know what you're getting back, Joey. Maybe I'm, that's why our relationship is so good. You're like my cat. You're my little pussy. I'm your pussy. Quality comedy right here on the Basement Yard podcast. <laughs> Go tell your friends. <laughs> Jesus. I grew up with a cat. Cool. And where I, is it now? Look where that got you. It had mouth cancer. What was it, smoking cigarettes? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I actually think it got it from a rusty can. I don't know if that, has, if that lines up. How, it ate a rusty can? I don't know if that lines up, but I remember it all started downhill when we saw her licking a rusty can that was in the garbage. And then she had, like, mouth issues. And then she got shaved, and, like, they gave her a shot. She got shaved. Yeah, they had to like shave her and give her a shot, and then she died not long after. That's fire, dude. Listen. Yeah. If you were to ask, if I were a single man right now, yeah, would I want a dog or a cat? I would probably say cat because they require less work. How yeah, many times do you fun. have to alter your schedule? I can't hug a cat. Ultimately, you can? I, I cats cuddle. What do you mean you can't hug a cat? They don't cuddle like dogs. A dog will fucking love you. Yeah, it will love you in annoying ways. Your big ass dog jumps on you and you're like, Jesus Christ, you're way taller than me. I'm only 5'6". I don't... 5'6", five foot, five foot size 8 shoe. Spread the news on the internet, folks. 5'6", 5'8 shoe. Wait, what am I saying? You just confirmed it. That's what you said. No. Cats, there's nothing cooler than laying down on the couch and then you feel... What are you this, doing? Like, and like the walking around in circles and then a cat just lays on you and it's just there I don't protecting like you. I don't like the cat. Protecting me from what? Other cats. Where are there other cats? You never know. You would know if they were your cat wasn't around. 
Cats eat garbage. So, and dogs don't? No, they eat shoes. And, and their own fucking dog shit. Not my dog. He's never eaten his own shit. That is weird, though. Dogs eat shit. They eat everything. One time I was at a dog park, and I saw a dog eating shit. And I was like, how do you even... These people let their dog kiss them. You do, too. My dog doesn't eat shit. He doesn't eat shit. He's never eaten his shit in his life. He, shit his, he shit his pants. My dog's definitely shit his pants. Your dog has pants? Well, when he's in a, when he's in a cage, and he shit his pants. And you kiss was, him. No, no, no. It was like the first day that I got him. I picked him up from the airport, and I was like... And his poor dog was terrified because you just fucking trafficked him across the country. Technically, his, the, the owner trafficked him. Well, you bought it. Not helping your image. Yeah. Oh, uh, shopped? And you shopped, didn't adopt? Yeah, I did. Oh, 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 God. You're in trouble. Yo, someone really got upset with me. I forgot who it was, but... Where were they? In the comments? No, no, no. Like someone we know. It was a girl. I don't remember who it was. Oh, I think I could figure out who but it was. But someone was really upset that I got my dog from a breeder. And I, I was like, one, I didn't even know. Like, I, Again, I th- before like the whole like movement on adopting pets was a big thing. Is when well, you not got- even that. Like I just like didn't know. Also, we had a fucking dog already. And I'm like, I'm not going to bring a dog in here that may or may not have some issues that are just going to kill this dog when I leave my alone. Yeah, listen. I'm all about adopting pets. I think it's a great thing. Same. Didn't have it in me, though. But he didn't want to. I didn't want to because he was really cute. He was really cute. He was also probably... How much money? 1500 bucks. Oh, well, that's not bad. No. Slave trade. Well, that's what you just participated in. Dog slave trade. Is that what it was? I think so. I ripped him from his brothers and sisters. Yeah. That's, you're not definitely not helping your cause here. No, I know. That's what happened. It's there. all right, though. Listen. He was the last one to go, actually. Oh, so he had to. He had the pain of leaving, seeing all of them go, and now he. No wonder why this kid, dog's all fucked up. I gave him a home. <laughs> all fucked up. He's very attached to me. Emotionally, he's a disaster, though. Yeah, he's attached. <laughs> to you. He's attached to you because emotionally, he's, he's a disaster. He's got social anxiety. Yeah. No, not social anxiety. Separation anxiety. I wonder why, Joey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder why. We spent a lot of time. I together. think, if anything, if I was a single man, it would almost make me more cool to have a cat. To have a cat. Because how many times, how many times have you heard of just like single men just like, yeah, I have a dog. And it's like, all right, you're a fucking dime a dozen. Like there's a hundred of you out there. Se- un- unrelated note, don't understand the dime a dozen quote, but that's neither here nor there. I think like if you were to meet someone that has like, oh, like a fucking like something unique, just a cat, a ferret. Cool. That would be cool too. Stop. If someone told you that they have a ferret, mm. you'd go, Wow. That's cool. I would think it's unique. Same question. I would think it's unique. Not what I said. Why not? Do you think it's cool to have a ferret? I would think it's unique. Your Honor. You're asking. He's not answering the question, Your Honor. (laughs) You're asking the same question, and I'm giving you the same answer. Is it cool? That's a yay or nay. It's a... Frankie! Yay or nay? I, pl- I, pl- I, plead, I plead the fifth. The defense your honor. rests. I bl- I, uh, well, the prosecution's back. I'm back, bitch. Yeah, we'll then answer the question. I, yes, it's cool in a sense. If we're defi- oh! if we're defining cool is subjective, Joey. The basis of the law is gonna fucking crumble under that argument. Cool is subjective. What's cool to me is not cool to you. What's cool to you is talking about pooping your pants all the time. What's cool to me is tea and megazords. All right, we're different people. Clearly. <laughs> And, and discoveries on socks. <laughs> yeah, and fucking multicolored socks. You know what I just realized we didn't speak about? No. Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? We didn't say that at any point in the time. At least I didn't. I were you think saying I that did. to yourself in the mirror when you were just like, Puerto, Puerto Rico? <laughs> No, but that clip has been going around. And it's very funny. It is still a funny clip. Puerto Rico. We could talk about that at another point in time on another episode. We're, we're, we're jiving. We're gelling. We're moving. We're cruising right now. So, oh, you, so you brought something up, and then you were like, oh, we don't have to talk yeah, about that. Yeah, we'll talk that. about that later. Okay. So you think I'm a straight man. Yeah. If I were to be single. Yes. Just get rid of my whole family and kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think that if I were to be like, oh, I have a cat, you'd be like, weird. Um... I wouldn't, but I'd be like, you wouldn't come over. You know what's funny? <laughs> you wouldn't. Come, well, I'm allergic. Oh, that's right. I think I think I've developed an allergy after my cat dipped. Right, maybe. 
Yeah. Uh, I slept over at my friend Sean's house in middle school. Didn't know that he had three cats. Oh, you were And fucked. I basically had to sleep with my head out the window. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did breathe. you get like the itchy neck and stuff like I, that? I, my throat <gasps> like closes kind of, and I got my eyes go crazy. Sean like, the killer. The killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, you're, don't, yeah. He's okay. not a murderer. No. He is the killer. Yeah. Like everyone was back in the day. You killed it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I went to my cousin's in... Uh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I meet someone and they go, oh, yeah, I, don't have, I have a snake. I go, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Really? A snake? You know what's funny? Just briefly touching on Puerto Rico... I've seen more Puerto Ricans with snakes in the Bronx than I did in Puerto Rico, but I did see one. You saw a snake? Fuck yeah. Where? On a guy's neck. It, while we were in Puerto Rico? Yeah. I was at a gift shop getting stuff for like the kids and stuff like that. Uh, Turn around, bang, right there. Snake. Was it a boa? Of course it was. Well, yeah. It was the, you know, the, like, the traditional, like what you would expect. And it was coiled up on his neck like this. Was it yellow like Britney Spears? No, it wasn't Britney Spears yellow. It was... I don't know who to. It's brown, but if I were to say a person with that, it would sound insensitive. So, yeah, just you know, like it was the a brown, brown snake. It's like the olive black brown combination. You know what I'm talking about? That's pretty. Was he in the store? In the store. He was in the store with a snake. He was clearly. I mean, he was probably what all the the Bronx based their you know their personalities off of. Right. Because he was wearing like, like a like a Puerto Rican flag, like you know tank top. Mm-hmm. Walking stereotype. Right. Yeah. Well, it's good. Yeah. He was probably having fun. Yeah. I, I, I find your uh, comment about the cat offensive. If I want a cat, I'm going to get a goddamn cat, you son of a bitch. You can get a cat if you want, but it doesn't even, like, I mean. I just like how they're just, actually, we've kind of, like, pseudo-adopted a cat at the house. There's one that just, like, lives in our backyard now. We saw it one day. We left out a can of tuna, and it comes back all the time now. Well, you fed it. Yeah, of course. And it's friends with the kids now. You know what I did the other day? What? I fed a bird. And I'll tell you this right now. I get why old people feed birds because it was kind of fun. Really? Yeah. Are you going to be like one of those old men that just like sit at park just throwing fucking bird seed out? I Probably. Because I, I, I was sitting outside of a coffee shop. Oh, my God. What? In Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> feeding right? birds? Well, I fed the first bird by accident. I was eating a croissant. Croissant. Yeah. And they're a flaky fucking mess. They are very flaky. And a piece of the flake hit the ground. Oh, this and then a bird came over, and they hop. They don't walk. They hop. What kind of bird? That's, uh, pigeons don't hop. They walk. It so that a, was a little. It wasn't like a pigeon. It was sparrow or something. It was something. like a little brown, like you know, whatever. And he was hopping, and then he picked it up, and he's like, doesn't have hands. Doesn't have hands. Just did it. That's the beak, you stupid bitch. Like this. Yeah. And. Then he ate it, and I was like, oh, it was cool. So I threw another flake on the ground, and then I was like, oh, wow, this is really fun. And then another one showed up, and I was like, I'm going to feed that one. You need to get, like, a bag of, like, bird seed and just well, fucking, like, I'm not gonna, I'm toss not gonna, it out. I'm not going to make it a whole scene, dude. You're going to be the old man that lives in Brooklyn okay, feeding birds outside like of a birds. coffee shop. I like the way birds eat. Um, birds quick. Are, they eat them they eat quick. They do. They fucking pop. Yeah. You know. Ow. Jesus. Yeah. You know what I don't like? Chickens. They eat too hard. Well, chickens are birds, Joey. Well, I don't. Th that's the bird that I don't like. You don't like birds. Well, I don't like chickens. Well, if you don't like one, you don't like them all. That's not true. That's what you were telling me the other day. No, it's not. That's exactly what yeah, you, you were... just generalize that's, a whole group of I'm people because of a couple bad apples. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, Joey. I know how often you defend those bad apples. Oh boy. Uh, so I'm just saying, chickens. Whatever. Oh my God! Can I just say something? Uh -oh. <laughs> this just reminded me. By the way, that's the second time you've interrupted me. And in you were minutes. done with your thought. No, done. Uh, you know how Frank? I'm talking now to the viewers here. Obviously, every single episode, Frankie will just say a thing about me that's just completely untrue. It's like, what were you saying about how you love uh, slavery or whatever the fuck? Like, he'll just do stuff like that. I do. We I were in Puerto Rico with a group of like <laughs> ten people, and he was just doing that. <laughs> And then people are just looking at me like, oh, what? I'm like, it's a, he's joking. I wrote on the sand, hashtag racist. Hashtag racist, racist Joe. Yeah. <laughs> but he was just like doing it the whole weekend. And then people are like, oh, what? I was like, he's <laughs> fucking lying. Here's like, the he's thing. Like making it up. Here's the thing about the basement boys. Frank, but you do it in front of people <laughs> that don't get the joke. Why do you say it like that? You do it. 
You Did said it like Dylan? Dylan, yeah. Sorry. Here's the thing about the basement boys. Hashtag TM. That's ours now. I don't think that's how it's that works. Not, it's like an A, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's not or an a, C, a. It's copyright? a copyright or, or trademark. Got it. What you get with what you see with us is what you get with us. This dynamic is how we are in real life. So if you're going to be around us, this is the dynamic you're going to get. They don't know that. Well, I would hope that they did. We also got what some might consider an insult. We said we were going to bring this up, and I'm going to bring it up. Some might consider an insult, but we considered it quite possibly a compliment. Well, it just is right. It's a very spot-on, astute observation. Astute's a stretch, but go ahead. So we went to Puerto Rico. Yeah. And we were accompanied uh, by a company. And the rest- <laughs> What? We were accompanied by a company. Yes. I don't, I don't know if they want their information out there. So I'm not going to say it, but one of the uh, employees there was like our like guide, really. One of the employees of the company was keeping us company. Yeah. She was like our, let's say it. It's okay. Our mother. Our mom. Yeah. You know, for a lack of better terms. Yeah. She was just making sure we weren't getting into trouble. Go, 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 go see the tree. <laughs> go see the tree. That's so nice. Don't pee on that. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't take pictures with that. That's not, that's inappropriate. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. She's younger than both of us. Yes. And would remind us all the time. Yes. Uh, and she, in order to, you know, it was a branded deal. It was very fun. We had the time of our lives. But she had to do research on us in order to make sure we were good people i think you know yeah. they don't want bad pr moves for yeah, themselves yeah not neo nazis yeah exactly one of us and <laughs> and she goes um you know i did i looked at the episode you guys talked about the whole bud light controversy right. and she's like just to make sure you guys weren't saying anything transphobic or homophobic or or bigoted anything that could you know really upset people and she said that she wrote a report on us and her report said and i quote they are not transphobic. They are just incoherent. What's up, dude? <laughs> Which I kind of enjoy. <laughs> incoherent. I kind of like... And for the record, we learned this on the first day we were there. Yeah. We haven't stopped speaking about it since. Well, you haven't. I haven't brought it up once. I've brought it up one time when we met that... Four times. Uh, five times? A couple times. We met that vet in the pool... When you said vet, I went right to dog doctor. Yeah, but he maybe, was a veteran. Maybe think about our fucking the freedom fighter for our. We country. did. We did meet a, a veteran. Uh, he was he, uh, he and he was just making PTSD jokes the entire time. He did it, not us. Yeah, absolutely not us. We were in the pool. And well, we didn't join in after a while. Well, it's like, ah, know, we're gonna have fun with this. Listen, no man's an island, okay? Yeah, I know. He was making a lot of jokes, and then a plane flew overhead. I was like, get down! Yeah, 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 yeah. There was like greenery around the pool, and he goes, "Look out for the Viet Cong." Yeah, and like, oh shit, dude! That was the first one. He really broke the ice there. Jesus, uh, waterboarded the ice there. Um, well, so yeah, we were told that we are not transphobic or bigoted or homophobic. We're just incoherent, and I personally agree. Yeah, it's very fun. So that's, I mean, yes, Joey is a very kind, inclusive, uh, selfless person in real life. But I will do my damnedest to convince people otherwise. And you're welcome for that, by the way. Thanks? And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. People will have such a low standard for you as a human when they meet you that when you show them the real Joe, they're like, wow, this guy is a delight. You want me to thank you for me having to dig myself out of a hole every time I meet somebody? No, because you don't have to dig yourself out. You're not actively trying to be better than the version that they believe that you are. You're just being yourself. Okay. And if they walk away thinking that you are the version of which I joke about, that's more on them than you. Okay, bud. Uh, We do have some sponsors for today. Uh, We have Shady Rays. Shady Rays, uh, they're durable. Built to tackle all of life's outdoor adventures. uh, Timeless. And uh, they, 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 they look good, folks. Uh, we're talking about sunglasses, by the way. Obviously, shady rays. Stay along. Um, but yeah, uh, they're uh, like I said. There's a broken replacements program, so they're durable. And even if they do break, because you really gotta break them to, for them to be broken with the durableness that they have, uh, then they have a, a broken replacements program. Break or lose your pair the second you take them out of the box. Uh, they'll send you a replacement pair, no questions asked. Okay. Um, but definitely go check them out. They have awesome sunglasses there. Uh, and the summer's coming up. The sun's going to be right in your poor little eyes, all right? You're going to want to save them from the sun. 
and you're going to want to look really nice doing it, okay? So go get those Shady Rays. Uh, with every order, the Shady Rays Impact Program works with nonprofits worldwide to make an impact on lives of children and young adults. So not only will you get a cool pair of shades, but you're also going to be doing a nice thing. Um, and what's better than getting one pair of Shady Rays and not worrying if you break them or lose them? Getting two. Uh, go to ShadyRays.com slash basement and use the code basement. And for a limited time, when you buy one pair of Shady Rays, you'll get a second pair free. Uh, that is S-H-A-D-Y-R-A-Y-S dot com slash basement. Use the code basement to get a second pair of Shady Rays free. Uh, but yeah, go check them out, man. Go get some nice sunglasses. The summer's coming. They're going to be stylish. I want to see pictures of Shady Rays on the Instagram. So tag us. ShadyRays.com slash basement. The code is basement, all right? Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know a Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gifts, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, and lastly here, we have display. Uh, they have both branded and artistic artwork, uh, but each, each product is high quality design printed on metal in Europe and hand signed by their master of production. So it's like a metal sheet, essentially. And they have a bunch of different categories of art that they have, and it's like very easy to hang it in your, uh, in your house or your apartment, wherever it is. Um, they're eco-friendly. Uh, every design, for every design sold, they're planting one tree. Can't have enough of those. You know what I'm saying? We need more trees. Um, but yeah, they have a, a unique, easy, safe magnet mounting system that only takes 20 seconds which is the best part. You don't have to hammer a bunch of holes and you they rip the thing off, put it back on. I tried to hang something up in here and it fell off in the next day. So you don't want you can avoid that with these, uh, the magnet mounting system. Uh, you can use the link in the description or go to display.com slash basement uh, and use the code basement at checkout to get 20% off for one to two displays or 30% off for three or more. Okay. Again, that is displays, uh, display, uh, spelled D I S P L A T E.com slash basement yard. Uh, and the code is basement at checkout to get 20% off one to two or 30% off of three. All right, so there you go, folks. Go make yourself, uh, you go spice up your apartment or something. All right? Love it. Before we wrap up, by the way, I do want to talk about um, that Hilton manager mm. sucking toes. Yeah. Can you, did you, can you pull that up? <clears throat> can I? Are you, was that a question? Yeah, um, uh, correct, Joey. You are correct. So there is a, a report that came out. That David Neal, a Hilton hotel manager from Nashville, Tennessee, Nash Vegas. Did you stay at a Hilton when you were there? You stayed at Airbnb. Oh, okay. Well, he was arrested and charged with aggravated burglary and assault after he snuck into a guest's room and began sucking the guest's toes while he was asleep back in March. Neal, 52-year-old. What the fuck did he think was going to happen? Well, so apparently he's an employee. He's a manager there. Dude, that's not the question. And he, uh, earlier that day, the, the guests had recognized him because he went in to repair something with the TV. And he must have got to look at those fucking piggies. And he was just like... He's like, I got to suck those. Daddy wants a pig in a blanket. Yeah. And checked in uh, at like 5 a.m., keyed into the room, and while the man was sleeping, started sucking on his toes. Dude. Here's my... You're not getting far into a toe sucking with me before I wake up, by the way. Really? Uh, first of all, I'm a light sleeper. So if someone comes into my room, I'm up. You also have ticklish piggies. I do. I already kicked that guy's fucking mouth off. Yeah. What was that movie uh, where, uh, oh, uh, is it old school? Where he kicks the, like, the girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, 40-year-old virgin when she's like sucking on his toes and he kicks her in the fucking teeth. Yeah. I, I'm a little torn on this. I understand why this is scary. 
Oh, I thought you were gonna understand why the guy keyed in at five a.m. to suck no, 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 that's fucked up. That's scary, dangerous. Legitimately, people, you know, there's a whole industry of people that tell you to fucking how to like arm your room so this doesn't happen. But the little bitch in me would be like a little flattered if someone liked my feet enough to fucking break into my hotel room and, and suck, suck my your toes, toes in my sleep. That shows that my my toes got them so fucking dolled up that they were like, yeah. I'm going to break the law. Yeah. I'm going to break the law for those toes. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Oh. I mean, there is. Legally, there is. Yeah. Oh, no. Every, every. Yeah. It, legally. I completely understand. But, like, thanks. You're a little flattery bitch. <laughs> I would be a little flattered. You'd be like, get out of here. Yo, get. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what made you break in, though? Well, what was that porn that you watched where it was like the kid woke up in the middle of it and she's like, you're getting your fucking kid. You're getting, you're getting your cock suck, kid. Yeah. I would be like, what are you doing? Go to the left, a little left. What is going on? Do you think you would like that? No, probably not. No? I, I'm, I'm, not a to I'm not a foot guy. You don't have to be a foot guy. To have my toes sucked? I think that would be a foot guy thing. No, it's just whether that would feel good or not. I don't think so. I've never had my toes sucked. Let me ask you a question. Would you describe yourself as a dick guy? I'm sure you like that being sucked. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't be like, yeah, I'm a dick guy. I'm not. But I'm not like, in, I'm into dick stuff. Because, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. What dick stuff? Hold on. Hold on. Me using it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not into foot stuff. You don't have to. Yeah. I don't want, like, my foots to be in, feet to be involved in anything. I'd be open to a toe being sucked, but I, I really would really be you would scared be, that I'd Yeah, be, you would be a I'm afraid boy. to get a fucking pedicure because I don't want to kick How a about 20, the face. 20, 22,000 patrons, you suck my toes. There's a less than negative percent <laughs> chance that I'm going to suck your toes. Less than negative. Technically, less than negative is positive, so there is a positive I'm chance. I'm not going to suck anything on your body, Frank. Ah, fingers. No. Ear. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, listen, I get why this is scary and freaky, but I think there is an upside here. Good. This man had such incredible toes. He had such a boner for his toes. That this hotel manager, at a Hilton, by the way, is that a good reputable hotel? chain? Yeah, was so pumped to see his feet. It was like I'm going back. I'm breaking the what law. What did he think was gonna happen though? Obviously, the guy's gonna wake up. Also, yo, you break into a room at 5 a.m. and you suck a couple toes. This is not your first rodeo. Oh no, there have been other fucking little piggies that have been choked down. Yeah, hundred percent. But it probably worked out for him. He was getting his toe sucked, and, and then the guest was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I work here." And I, and the guy was like, all right, finish up and then get out. Really? Probably, I mean, he got away with it. It's like, is it like just like an extra, like I, if, if, now listen, if Mr. Neal, the hotel manager was smart, he would have been like, listen, here at the Hilton, we offer all types. This yeah. is our, you know, 5 a.m. complimentary foot massage. Yeah. That wasn't my mouth. I was just right. wet hands. Or it's just part of like a package. It's like you get a bed and breakfast, it's like the continental breakfast and you get a toast sucking at 5 a.m. Yeah, I I think he could have spun this, and he might have, honestly. Monetarily, you could have made some dollars here. He sh Damn right. He should have been like, all right, well, where's my tip? This guy could have got paid to suck toes. Yeah, that's kind of like those guys that just show up and start cleaning your windshield, and you're like, fuck, oh, and then you got to pay them. Yeah. This is like this guy sucks your toes in the middle of the night, and he's like, well, bro, I suck your toe. Give me 10 bucks. You pay him? I don't really carry cash. I don't read it. Yeah, I don't either. If he has square. If he has square, <laughs> then yeah. What's your Venmo, dog? Yeah, exactly. I'll Venmo. send you a dollar on Venmo. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I I think like there's there's positive upside here. Real real question here. Jokes aside. How hard are you beating the dog shit out of this guy if he's sucking on your toes? I think at 5 a.m., I wouldn't even realize that my toes are being sucked because I'd be so scared. Because that, that's it, you're up. Yeah, you're up scared. You're up at five a.m. Also, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even think it's like a sexual thing. I would think I'm being eaten by a demon in your dreams. That might be what happens to you because you have some weird dreams. You're eating penises and stuff. It was one time, and it was my penis. I would say doesn't matter. Still a penis. Like in mm. your in your dreams, will you believe like yo like what's going on with my feet? am I standing in a puddle? I don't have a lot of dreams like that. Oh, okay. Where it's like it. It relates to, like, my dog's looking at my face, and I'm, like, making out with Cameron Diaz. In yeah, my it never yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, movie yeah. shit. Just in the mask. Yeah. Like my favorite movie of all time. Well, Stanley Ipkiss. Uh, but, yeah, no, that doesn't happen to me. But I, I really would be afraid that I'm, that I'm being eaten or something. And then I would realize it's a man, 
and then I would go into full like fight mode, and I right. was so scared. All right, so I'll ask the sexist question in the room. Mm-hmm. If it was a woman, no, I would be equal. Bro, five a.m. I'm being woken up by a stranger, Jennifer S- Aniston. Do I know it's her? J Lo. You don't know it's her, but then you open your eyes and you see it's fucking J Lo. She's just like Ben's been pissing me off this week. He's hitting the bottle again, and then she's just fucking. That's fucked up. <laughs> um. <laughs> she may get a little bit of a what the fuck and like a jab to her. You're, but then I'd be like, I'm so sorry. That's an insured face, I would assume. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I love. Uh, you're Jenny from the block. You are Jenny from the block. Yeah. But that's... If it was Jennifer Aniston, I'd be like, oh my God! And I'd be like, I, Friends is okay. No, I, I know what you would do. You'd be like, what? What's going on? That's what you would do. You would be like... No, I'd be You wouldn't scared. jab away from Jennifer Aniston if she was sucking on your toes. Bro, I would jab away from anybody who was suck- woke me up sucking my toes. I'm j- Someone's getting kicked. Really? Dude, how am I going to wake up and process the fact... That like, and also I'd be like, well, this is a fucking dream. <laughs> I'm sleeping in a random hotel room so it is a in dream. Nashville, and Jen Francis comes in, and she's got my big toe in her mouth. Who said big toe? Maybe she's I, going I, to town on your little pink, your little, your little baby piggy. No, that'd be weird. Get the big toe in there. Oh. If you had to pick a toe, it was a big toe. I assume it would be one of the, or you can just get all four of the other ones in your mouth at once, like playing an accordion. Oh, like a whole foot. Yeah. Or like a harmonica. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. God damn it! An the accordion. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. Yeah, do an accordion again. No, I did it once. That's all, <laughs> that's all we need. No, I did it once. That's all you need. <laughs> I think. Listen, I understand the legalities here. He's in trouble. He's arrested. He's been, you know, being charged. But I would be flattered. I would, I would I would need some time before I was flattered. At least two months. I would be like, God damn. Like, I would say like, what? Bro, you know, feet hardos out there are like, we need to get a look at these. Yeah, feet. I need to see these puppies. These, 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 there are people out there that are just like, because this is one of those guys that's on that website. You think he's seen your feet? Ugh. You think you propelled him into his toe-sucking days? How would I do that? Because he went online. Saw mine. Saw your feet. And was like, holy shit, this guy's feet re- resemble 9.2 rating San Agato. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Maybe. Trendsetter. Wow. You should be proud. I am proud. I think we can end there. F. Alvarez, eighty eighty five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez. No? I hate when you do that. Really? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Frank, was it? Go ahead. The Frank Alvarez on Twitter. Uh, no. I don't know. F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez and all other forms of social. The Frank Alvarez was taken on Twitter because some asshole who hasn't tweeted since 2012 has had it. Wow. It's really fucked up. Uh, but then go check it out. Uh, and then make sure you check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard to get more of this, a little more of that, a little seasoning, a little paprika in your life. And then make sure you should follow The Basement Yard on all socials, baby. We got everything going on here in Santagato Studios. That's Joe Santagato. Joe Santagato, tell the people where you are. <laughs> Go follow me on all social media at Joe Sandigato and go check out the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. See you next time.